Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can add and manage extensions in the Chrome web browser. So I'm here in the Chrome web store and let's say I want to try a new one out. Uh, we'll try this one here. And we'll add that to Chrome. And we see it's now checking and now we have this little message that it has been added to Chrome. Now if you wanted to share this extension with somebody else so they could try it out, just click on that little link next to Add to Chrome and you'll get a Google Plus or a Gmail link for it. Now if you want to remove it, there's a couple of things that you can do. If you right click on it, you can hide it from the Chrome menu. So that just means it won't show up up here, but it, you'll still have it. Or you can remove it entirely. So you can say remove from Chrome. That will remove it entirely. Now you can also go into this menu in the far right and any other extensions you've previously installed. You can go into more tools down here. Select extensions. And now we'll see all of the extensions that we have installed in Chrome. If there's one you find in here, and it's important to go through periodically and check to make sure you don't have anything in here that you're not using on a regular basis, you can go in and let's say this one here I haven't used in a while and I don't plan to use it again for a while. I might just go in and remove it entirely. You can also go in and look at the details on a particular extension and review the permissions that it that it has. You can see this one here is one that I use from time to time. If I wanted to use it again, just slide it over and now it's activated again. So we see now that's active again. Now if I wanted to disable one for a little while, maybe this announceify one, slide it over and we can deactivate it and again reactivate it when we need it. So that's how you can add and manage extensions in the Chrome web browser. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.